Uh, good afternoon everyone. In this video we're going to continue the ICT Trades Analyze series and we're going to work through March 24th, 2023 and April 28th, 2023. So we're going to start with March 24th. He says 39.83. And we're going to turn off the music. Okay, so let's get started here. So He's got new week opening gap high and new week opening gap low marked out. He's got the current new week opening gap consequent encroachment marked out that comes in at 39.55 three quarters. He's also got a long wick CE on the inverted side uh, right there at uh, about 39.84 evens. We're on an E-mini S&P 500 15 minute chart. Okay, Let's see if he takes an execution. A bear sorter block, you see he's got the low of that green candle. It's going to be a bear sorter block. That comes in at 39.97, three quarters. He's also marking out an old buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. So that's going to be inversion FVG. I'm just curious if he takes a, uh, ex an execution on this video. And that's going to be an order block as well, or breaker block. There you can see he's taking standard deviation projections lower. Okay. Down to a one minute chart on the ES. Don't believe he's going to take an execution this this video, so we'll keep this one short. Ah, okay, uh, bearish breaker is going to be high low high, so you can see high low and high. That's bearish breaker. Okay, that uh, thirty nine eighty three. So basically what he's saying in this video is that the price should come back up to that inverted fair value gap to the bottom of it, and that would be 39.83, and that was the purpose of that video. Let's move on to April 28th, uh, 20, what is this? Yeah, April 28th, 2023. Okay, let's see if he's in a position. So we had that buy side. Um, we're on the U.S. Treasury bond futures. It's a 15-minute chart. Um, Price is currently trading at 131 spot 20. He had that buy side um, liquidity marked out. Price should trade to it and through it. I was on the E-mini S&P 500. So he was looking at the bonds. Now he's on the E-mini S&P 500. Uh, it's a three minute chart. He's long six contracts at kind of the midpoint here of that bullish order block. Long another three contracts, so now he's long 10. So that new week opening gap low is gonna be the first target. Okay. That's going to be a bullish order block that just formed as well. Rally to a new week opening gap low now. That's what he's saying. So he's long 15 contracts. Didn't really get the chance to see. Stop is safe under the mean threshold. You see that black candle right there? That is a bullish order block. So he put a stop just below the mean threshold of that bullish order block. And the time is currently 0900 to... Uh, 1000 so this is the first this is the opening range it's the first 30 minutes of New York trading and you see how new day new day opening gap Friday April the 28th there had not been trading up there no delivery So a reclamation, so a reclaimed bull sort of block. Uh, he's looking at the bonds prior to analyzing the ES. Okay, so he's just analyzing two assets at the same time. Pretty advanced stuff, but there it is. Uh, he's really flipping back and forth between the bonds a lot. Kind of makes it difficult to watch. Uh, so one minute, 41.56 comes next. Let's see where he starts taking off contracts. 
See, you, so do you see how he says that must rate remain above that fair value gap to remain a solid long, right? You don't want your inefficiencies to be filled if you are trying to trade in that direction. Okay. It says focus inside this range where price is not delivered. And of course he's on the comment section. I'm, I'm in, interested to see where he takes any contracts off or he's just going to do a full pull. Full pull. Okay, so basically he says uh, that that was going to be a full pull. And you can see, guys, that you know he's using his intermarket relationships there, which is important. He was looking at the bonds as he was trading. Um, he had the new week opening gap low as the draw on liquidity. New week opening gap high was also there. And then he was also marking where price uh, had a real liquidity void and not, had not traded to. Uh, he was executing at the market on these bullish order blocks as they formed and then moving up his stop below the mean threshold of those order blocks as price traded above the bullish order blocks. So um, executions at the market looking at intermarket relationships with the U.S. Treasury bonds, with the bonds, um, looking at new week opening gap as a draw on liquidity and aiming for the low side of the new week opening gap, not for a full redelivery, just aiming for the low, and then uh, looking at your bullish order blocks as they form. So we got, in that, in, in that example, we, had, uh, we saw him executing at the market. We saw the draw on liquidity concept. We saw order block theory, so bullish order block theory, and we also saw new week opening gap. So that uh, was my analysis of his executions for March 24th and April 28th, 2023.